Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through human visual eye guys. So basically the eye, I hope everyone knows about eye guys. In 8th or 9th, we have just gone through, in biology, we have gone through eye, right? So the same concept I have just written here, but I just gave you a small introduction guys. Because these topics are not so much asked in the question papers. But in one paper, I think so, they asked about physical and synthetic cameras guys. These are the both the things. Till now, we, have discuss we are discussing still in synthetic physical. After that, we will be going to synth synthetic also. Fine? Sorry. Okay, so human visual eye. So the structure of eye will be in this way, guys. So you'll be having an optical nerve. Here you'll be having a coating of rods and cones, retina. This is nothing but your cornea. This is nothing but your lens. These are nothing but your iris. And the space here will be your pupil. So there will be a small cell-like thing. That is nothing but we can call it as a pupil. Fine? Okay, so now let us come from here to here, guys. In that way, I'll be just teaching you everything. So shall I dictate it or shall I go through the notes and shall I explain? Better let us go through the notes and then we'll be explaining. So iris controls the size of the pupil. So basically I told you, right? So here we'll be having a small thing that we'll be calling it as pupil. So just give me a second, guys. I'll be checking if there is an image. Okay, even in this image also we are not having. Okay, so pupil. So the pupil size will be controlled by the iris. So the main use of pupil is nothing but it controls the entry of light, guys. So if the pupil size is really large that is nothing but your iris is enlarging the pupil size then there is a chance of high entry of light whereas the pupil size is damn low then there is a chance of very low entry of light fine so at the rate night times the pupil size will be increasing and morning times the pupil size will be decreasing fine according to the intensity of light around you so if you ask me what is this pupil if you observe in your eye you will be having uh, some black dot, right? Black or brown or any kind of dot. And the rest will be white. So this black dot is nothing but your pupil, guys. So if you observe night time. So please, once try, guys. Okay? So at night time, you turn on all the lights, guys. And suddenly you off the lights. Or suddenly you on the lights. The black dot size increases, guys. We may not observe it... Uh, if you observe it really carefully, it's going to increase, guys. Fine? So, I hope everyone got a small idea. Okay. So, pupil helps the light to enter inside and the images into as if like a pinhole camera. So, the same concept of pinhole camera is also used here. So, from that, the image is reflected here, guys. So, if we are having an upper arrow here, we'll be reflecting here a down arrow. Fine? Okay. So, the lens which helps in the focusing of light and the cornea. So, this area... This we will be having a liquid guys, which is which we will be calling it as aqueous humor. So it consists of water and vitamins. So cornea that is nothing but aqueous humor will be having 99% of water and 1% of vitamins, which are used for focusing of the focusing of our light and images. So it helps in maximum reflection by using the bending, and we are also having the retina. So in simple words, we can say that retina is nothing but your display screen, guys, where your image, the tilted image or the inverted image will be displayed. And the optical nerve. So we'll be having this optical nerve which transfers the particular image to our brain or any kind of thing where the synthesis will happen. So basically it happens in the brain. Fine. So we are also having the ciliary muscles which will be contrasting and enlarging whenever they are required guys. And we are having the cones and rods guys. So basically the cones are used for color. CC. Cones for color. And the rods are used for same color detection but in dim light. These are at bright light. Fine. So I hope everyone got at least a small idea on this human visual system. Guys, if possible, just to go through any kind of website, guys. Because the, the notes that they provide will be really good about these topics, guys. Fine. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the synthetic cameras. Thank you. Thanks for watching.